So today we're going to be talking about e-commerce conversions and uh, some features, functionalities, or apps that you can use to help increase your conversions. Mm -hmm. um, so you know we know that this is different as it pertains to B2B and B2C, but typically uh, if I have a B2C e-commerce store, uh, what are some of the steps that I need to take in order to even identify what I need to optimize in order to increase my conversions. Right. So you kind of gave the answer right there. How do you identify where your drop off points are, what you need to optimize in order to get more conversions? Mm -hmm. So the first thing you have to do is uh, install proper tracking devices on your website. Mm -hmm. um, that can include enhanced e commerce uh, tracking from Google Analytics, for example. There are plenty of other third parties. Mm -hmm. uh, tools out there, uh, a heat map such as Hotjar, um, where you can really see how users interact with your website and where they drop off or where they hesitate or where you can improve and make the, the whole process seamless. Mm -hmm. And that will increase your conversions. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, you know, and e-commerce conversions, right? Conversion optimization, that's a bit broad. Because right, there are multiple different types of optimizations that can mm -hmm. lead to conversions. Of course. So talk, talk to me a little bit about you know uh, one that kind of focuses more on the user experience aspect of the site. Okay. I will say that's you can take that in multiple ways too. Uh, I can give like two examples of what I mean. The one thing is something as um, you know it could be as simple as a product description if you have a product description that really gives all the details that someone might even you know without even thinking about asking it the answer is already there um, having a very thorough very easy to read uh, product description could and will increase your conversions mm -hmm. that's one aspect the other aspect is the more technical aspect is to making sure that Everything that you click works seamlessly. The site is fast. Mm -hmm. uh, you can easily find what you're looking for. Uh, the prices are clearly there. There's no, you know, surprises in the checkout with hidden fees or anything that might cause someone to go, wait, no, that's not what I thought I was yeah. getting. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, you know, and then another thing is, um, it, you know, an advanced search and filter. Right. Um, how easy is it for customers on your site to find what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, so just a, a, an easy, a simple tool as a, a, an advanced search and filter can, it could potentially enhance your, your conversions. Right. Um, and some of the tools um, that, you know, that offer um, yeah. advanced search and filter, I know one is Algolia. And I know that that one can pretty much be used with almost any e-commerce platform. Another thing that you know our listeners should pay attention to is what platform their website is on, right? So how will that affect how they what they choose to optimize? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know there are multiple platforms out there: Shopify, Big Commerce, Magento, etc. Each and every one of these platforms has their own app store. Uh, so that's really the first place to look is in your platform's app store to see if they have an application that meets you know your needs. Um, every platform is going to be relatively different. However, so there are some overlapping ap applications. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's identifying first your need, um, and then seeing if your platform has any applications that can fulfill that. Um, and if not, you need to find a custom solution. Mm -hmm.